everyone and welcome back to Fire End Maneuver. As I said in the end of last video that I would go ahead and maneuver myself so that I would surround the forces that were held up to the north. Uh, what we have gone ahead and done in south is we pursued this force down here until destruction and the uh, fifth and third army groups have now made it all the way to the headquarters the um, like main castle of uh, Kyoto, not Kyoto, Tokyo. What wait? What was it called before it was Tokyo? Edo. That's right, Edo. So um, we're right next to Edo there, ready to move up on that hopefully soon. Uh, but first we need to uh, kill off this holdout around the area of Hida. So we've surrounded this and we've already had, unfortunately I get all these like battle markers for the b battles that happen off camera when the enemy attacks me and I'm like, okay, this is just another one of these battles that I need to do. And this was just that, there was nothing, nothing special about it. We can see that uh, we deployed roughly the same amount of troops. Few losses on my side, few losses on their side as well, so it wasn't anything special, but we got a battle marker for that. Anyways, that means that the, the, the 13th Corps and the Hida Guards are actually already quite broken down, and we can see the numbers here. This guy is down a thousand men, 600, half, so that they've already lost tons of troops in these two corps. Um, and I think even one of their um, stupid wooden can got destroyed. The enemy has, well, the AI has a problem deploying the guns. Well, every gun that is, except for the Gatling gun, they do deploy the Gatling gun, and when they do, there's quite a bit of damage being put out by that. I wonder here if I should actually push here first. Uh, and push this one back. It could push it to destruction because you can't have more than two army groups in the same area. Or I think what it could happen is that they are forced to merge these units. But I'm not sure. Or it pushes one of them out into this valley right here. But I'm not sure. Uh, we're going to bring up the one with the Armstrong gun, and it's now received the two additional troops. I have yet to receive the British unit, which is one turn away right now. And I've also instituted adding British units to the 2nd Division of the Satsuma Domain. So they will be getting a British unit plus one of the Sepoy infantry. I think someone mentioned Gurkhas, but I don't think we have Gurkhas. Like, that... That would be specifically for our specifically British army. I don't think they're going to lend us any Gurkhas. Um, but those are the British troops we have. So, um, preferably I'd have like a special division. I don't know if you can create new army groups. Like if you can create new ones. Um, so one are, we've got all of these are deployed. I don't know if you can create a new one, like create a new core, or if it's just you have to do with these, or it could be right now that I have maxed out the amount that we can have, that we can support right now. Um, but with that, I think that uh, that plan is a go, because I feel as though this one's the one that still has a bit of sting in it, in terms of the fact that they still have great numbers. And if I beat this one down, then it's going to be, you know, easier, because they won't be reinforced by this one. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and conduct our attack then. And uh, right off we go. They will be reinforced by Hidagard and the 13th Corps. Um, I wonder if they will arrive at the same time. So we'll all be on the field, so it'll be one big battle, the Battle of Etchu. I am heavily in favor, so I kind of feel like these will turn up on the second day, more so than the first. 
Um, but it could be that the strength of these two um, corps, uh, first and fourth army group, that that is enough given how broken down these are. But enough, enough of that. Let's actually get into the battle, shall we? And defeat the Tokugawa forces. Quite clearly, the enemy was not reinforced on the first day, as we have quite the uh, force of cavalry moving forwards to us. I'm going to see if we can break that one right off the bat. What I've done is I've deployed the units with the less experience in the front because I want them to gain experience. Um, and so we have the veteran troops actually in the back moving up. And uh, they're going to help in case we end up needing it. I fast forward here and only one unit ends up firing and I think it could be, yes, it's because a large amount of these troops, which I've made a mistake in doing, only have assorted muskets, so they only fire one tile ahead of them, which is not great. I'm trying to get these samurais around in a way in which I can hopefully strike these guys in the back. Um, and then, just because we do have the enemy, the enemy does have a Gatling gun, I want to go ahead and deploy the Armstrong gun. Actually, deploy both guns on this side, so we can shoot that down before it absolutely destroys my troops. With that, we're going to go ahead and end turn. We're going to fast forward. Okay, they moved directly into the way of the cannon. Uh, however, it's not the Armstrong cannon that moves first. It's the uh, second one. So that is not as bad. But they can still move on an angle. Now, I do have this unit right here so they can fire twice. Hopefully, that is somewhat enough. Meanwhile, I'm going to bring the cavalry up here, we're going to form into line behind there, and then we're going to move on the enemy. Now, the Gatling gun is in view, but I really don't have any troops that can fire on it, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, see if I can't deploy the cannons where they are. We do have a tempting target right there. But yeah, assorted muskets there as well. These form into line. Start moving forward. So my plan... Oh, they decided to charge over here. Which is doing quite a bit of damage to us. And now the Gatling gun is clearly set up. At the same time, the enemy is right there. I wonder what this does. The uh, Cavalon Echelon is its forage and no range down there. It's enable unit to receive no vulnerability. Um, right, but line. Um, is disabled. Unit receive range vulnerability. Charge damage is increased. Right, that is what I need. Um, the enemy moved off the hill, and I can move forward and actually fire on the enemy's cannon. And then we're prepared to deal with these. Um, I guess we'll try and move on the Gatling gun, which is not great, and then we'll have to deploy the rest into line here. Alright, we'll hope that these guys uh, do their best against the cavalry. But uh, it's not looking too good. Let's go ahead and end turn. Fast forward. The Gatling gun just killed everyone. <laughs> okay, these have now prepared to fire across the hill. So if I move in there now, I'm going to get shot. I'm just going to move to here. Which I think I can avoid getting shot at. And then next turn, I will be able to fire. That's a bit risky here. 
Uh, but I kind of want the units to gain some experience, so we're gonna go move forward and I'm gonna shoot there. And then, in case if he gets killed, the second unit will take care of that. And then you can move up that way. So will you? And with that, let's end turn. Let's fast forward. They do shoot, but uh, not enough. First things first, I think, is to fire here. Now these guys on the hill... ...is gonna be dangerous. So, we're gonna move up and... Okay, I can't charge, apparently. It could be that they move to take position here. In which case, it will be meeting engagement. And... ...after that, we might... Just turn the guns. I don't think we'll really be able to hit them. This is kind of a weird battle to even show. Okay, now we're set up perfectly for a charge. Go straight at it. And that should doom that unit, and just to make sure. Hopefully that destroys two units, and that should be uh, enough to win the battle. So let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, cavalry charge. And since they're in skirmish formation, they don't really stand a chance. A massive unit of traditional cavalry just rolls in and cuts them to pieces. They're, we're already down to 22. We won the battle. Great. It's going to fast forward. Wonderful. Now I did have one unit that got destroyed in the fighting, which wasn't great. Did he get forced into these now? Oh, and they're now out of supplies. Should I just hold where I am and wait for them to die? Did that unit completely die or did I... I don't even know, They both of these two new ones are fine. They didn't get any... Um, any experience from the battle. I'm gonna go ahead and buy muskets for at least one of them. I need to do that for a lot more units. Um, luckily though... What we do have is time, because as it is right now... I haven't really moved any armies further north. But what it looks like is there's uh, really nothing to the north. Um, what I can do down here is actually... You have three. I want this one actually to move around this way. Because there's a guard, there's a guard army, I've seen that. But otherwise there isn't much going on there. So I want to kind of move around. Okay, so there's seemingly nothing here to the north either. Now, I don't want to move here. So let's move to here. Damn, I can move far. Now, it's a risk of me getting cut off. Okay, we can see there. Okay, so I moved huge range. Now, there's a risk of this uh, Satsuma domain being cut off. But I kind of want to see what they've got up here, and there's seemingly nothing. I think that it is only going to be like guard units around these points. Um, now I could wait here, I guess, and see what the enemy when the enemy counterattacks, and it'll be easier for me. But if I strike hard and attack right now, that frees up a lot of these units to move. With, the, with this turn, and suddenly I've got troops ready to bombard this area, and I've got this area under siege. And so when I end turn, we'll be ready to strike at multiple locations, and suddenly, you know, it's we're just rushing through. It's a uh, complete overrun of the enemy. Um, this force... It's one of those that I'm building on. We've got some units that are pretty good in this. Um, so I guess we'll mobilize this one. I'll bring in second. 
the Sachudo to sit in there as well. And then the seventh is the one that will lead the attack. Both units will join in. Uh, I can bring in Saga the main for the second day, but that's kind of pointless because I don't think it's going to go to the second day. Battle of Hida is about to commence. Let's go ahead and... You know what? Cancel the attack. I want to make sure... I don't want these guys to move down here in retreat. So I'm going to move you up. And now they're completely surrounded. And now we'll make sure... Oh, yes! That... They did, were, they were forced to merge, so the unit that was here retreated and was forced to merge with the Hida guard unit. This is, uh, this is going to be a huge battle with the amount of forces um, that's going to take part here. Before we go, I'm just going to get you a proper musket and... Once that's done, seven, 7th Army Group will attack and will... Escalation, okay, yeah, fine. Um, right, let's go ahead and attack. I've prepared by moving up my troops. Look at this, look at this absolutely massive battlefield and the amount of troops. I've got a long line of line infantry stretching. You are in line, right? Uh, no, you're not. But now you should be. Oh, you're uh, bogged down. Right. You'll stay there then. We'll bring the Armstrong guns up to this hill. And then I'm going to have these guns more as close to support. Maybe up on this hill right here. And over on this side, I've got... The uh, light troops, which will just kind of harass this side. As they'll move up and they'll be joined by the cavalry. And then the enemy has taken position up on their hill. But I'll sure be able to push them off there pretty darn soon. I'm going to advance... The entire line out of our defensive position and move towards the enemy. With that, let's end turn. Fast forward, they move their cannons straight up into our way and they're starting to move their entire force forward. So many units that need to do their turn. We're gonna fire there, you're gonna turn. You're going to fire on those. Can you fire twice? Yes, good. With that, you are going to move up like that. Possibly blocking that cavalry unit. In the meanwhile, I feel as though it's probably time for these light units to start forming into skirmish lines. So we're going to get them up, so off the bridge so they can actually form skirmish line so they moved forward, the cavalry is sitting there, the rest of the line will halt a little bit be ready to set fire at will we'll deploy the Armstrong gun and then you will move forward and hopefully we can get you onto the hill these troops can now move out of the woods and then form into the line so now the line is fully set across the battlefield. We've got troops all across. And then we get enemy concentration here and here. And the first blow is going to be against the, the horse artillery unit and traditional cavalry here, which have lost all but two companies. So they are moving up. They've got some defensive position right over here. They're not moving these guys, so I will be able to fire upon them. And looks like I'll be able to fire twice. And we break them down quite a bit. And as they move forward, they disintegrate. I'm hoping... Now, the Armstrong guns are pretty far back. I'm hoping that we'll be able to... Uh, 
fire from there. Otherwise, I kind of made a m big mistake deploying them that far back. Yes, we will be able to fire from there, but not too far forward. With the troops in position right now, I think it's more important to get these into skirmish because, um, well, the enemy is right over here. These two can move and deploy in the same turn, so they'll do just that. The cavalry can still sit here. That is fine. However, I want you to move forward. And I want you to move forward. And maybe we can just take this hill. The rest of the line will hold a little bit. While I go ahead and soften up some of these units. And then this cannon will proceed. Hopefully get up to this. Set up at an angle. Be able to bombard. So I'll have cannon fire coming from all sides down on the enemy. But end turn. It's going to be interesting to see. I'm worried this unit will fire upon us while we're in column. Luckily I was able to deploy before they were able to fire. Great. This side of their army is really broken down to start off with. Their cavalry is switching, slowly moving to this side. So I wonder if they're trying to move around me. I First things first. Let's see if we can shoot him down as we move forward. Then you will fire. You will move into this structure. No, not both of you. Uh... I just want the unit in the back to move up and then fire. And then I want to see if I can get the all this light infantry moving through up through here. So that's done. Now he's closing in on the cavalry, which I don't like. I'm just going to move them one step back. The cannon's now up. Artillery will... Bombard here again. The line will hold and wait for my order to advance. I don't want it to go to the second day. Ooh, damn. They moved forward into that and three units went fired well. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to... They all, they always mismanage their cannons, don't they? They, are. they got Gatling gun coming up right behind there. Front hit, and then this guy moves out on the side, and then he fires, and now we have the strong position here, where it looks like they've uh, dug some trenches. And the light infantry then moves forward, and we're gonna fast forward here. Alright, I think the most important bit is to um, deal with the cavalry unit out here. It's probably mo the most dangerous part of this. And then I think the rest of the line should start to advance. And then you can get up onto the hill. You should not get up on the hill. And, but I'm not... I'm not scrolling through the orders, unfortunately. There we go. Which one did I tell to hold fire? Yeah. Move, fire, and I think one's enough, and then fire one on this. Uh, with that, we're gonna fire once here, and then we're gonna fire twice. You're gonna move up, fire. You're gonna move up, you cannot fire. You're gonna move up, you can fire. And lastly, we'll have the artillery blast. And very lastly, you will deploy. Alright, we enter. We're starting up here. Although enemy might be moving their units first up here. What will happen there? Oh, uh, they switched. They moved up the cannon instead. That means the cannon will receive... No, the cannon went into the woods. Okay. That was not expected. Also, the enemy is kind of falling back and cramped together in this area. Unfortunately, I did not do as much damage to this cavalry unit as I had hoped. 
And we took a hit from the units on the hill there. Now the cavalry is behind me. That is not good. And there was no fire here. Now we're just going to see the light infantry move forward. Oh, they were able to still fire from that distance. Great. Now we're in quite the pickle. We'll have to halt the advance there. And you will fire at will. Then you will move up on the side. Start firing that way. And let's see. The Gatling gun is on the hill. You will fire through there. Fire on those. And you have nothing to fire on. Just fire at will. I want you to bayonet charge the cannons. And then for the last bit, we'll just... Spam fire. On to um, the troops up there. And advance. Right. It starts over here. Let's go ahead and run this through. And get run over. They decide to deploy other troops ahead. And they get shot. Important to prioritize. What units you order first. Here is a little bit of a worry. I'm also worried that I might have put the um, attack on the Gatling gun a little bit late. But it could have been that they just now deployed them. Um, so that I will be able to kill them in time. Yes. I also figured it might have been better for me to bayonet charge the Gatling gun. Because then I would have taken the position. So I would have had both the units up on the hill. Which could have worked out better. They are moving a lot of units to support uh, this area which is completely falling apart. Back charge. Apparently the cannons were facing the wrong way. And now for the final bit. We're just pouring as much fire onto this unit right here as possible. Right. With the armies is what it is. I feel like we're fine here. Here is where I feel problems going to arise. So what I want to do is I want to get this guy up. And I want to get him like that. And then he wants to fire like that. Um, you will turn and fire on the cavalry. Once that's done... Maybe I should turn the guns to face straight forward so we can support. But I feel like we probably won't be able to fire f a lot further there. So it might be better just to support over here. Um, yeah, the Armstrong guns will kind of um, outrun their support at this point. I'm going to move forward hard though. And we're going to see what kind of damage I'm able to achieve as I move forward here. So lots of fire going down that way. With that done, we'll resume attacks here. And I feel like... Oh, no orders remaining. I ran out of orders. <laughs> Two last units will not receive orders. This is where it starts. So let's go ahead and take a look there. It's also getting darker. We're at 65% though. So I uh, feel like that's pretty good still. Ah, they ran in to the fire of the Armstrong gun, which is great. Two good side hits from up here. And these guys are so close that I don't think they will be able to recover. So I will be able to continue that. And next turn, if I fire these two right at the beginning, I might be able to destroy both of them. 
Also note that all of these units that are fired will turn to the wrong side. Did that one die? I thought that I fired on these two. We've got a lot of fire going down. And as I'm moving up hard right now, g getting good side hits, we are uh, destroying the enemy force. I should have diversified my targets because we were uh, able to destroy them faster than I thought. Okay, the unit up there is gone. What I want to start off with then is uh, fire over here. Let's fire twice to be sure. And then you will fire on these. I want you to turn and I want you to fire on those guys up there instead. You fire twice. Um, continue the advance here. I want to see if I maybe can take this hill. Once again, maybe focusing too much. Over on one side. And you've done your part. Move forward to the edge of the hill. You will move forward there. Starting to get all the light infantry towards the fight. Um, maybe I'll even get the cavalry to close in now. And there we have those moves. We start up here. Where the cannons fire and we fire over there. There's a bit of return fire from the enemy. Side charge. Oh, okay. But the cannon fired even before, and the side charge... I mean, they're standing there doing their bayonet stuff with nothing to actually bayonet. I feel like we might be able to... We get a lot done this turn. Where the enemy is down to 33%. Um, let's see. I, there's, there's, uh, they've received a lot of damage up here. So what if... Let's see. Okay, so if you turn, fire twice. Then you will turn. Actually, did I give an order there? No. Turn. Fire once. Fire once. Then you fire twice. So now I feel like those two are definitely dead. And then... That's unnecessary many, actually. I'm wasting. I don't need that many. Hey. Let's see. And then on this side. Cavalry, I feel like they're probably going to kill themselves almost. I think this will be the last turn because uh, we're about to do so much concentrated damage on the enemy where they uh, will not withstand. Okay, so their cavalry are, uh, is moving out of the way. I was not able to kill this one. I thought that I'd set it up perfectly that it fired three times on this one and destroyed it. But we are actually below um, 25%. So the battle is won. The thing will be then that we do not lose anyone. Which 
it doesn't look like we will because they've already expended their uh, major fire and we move a little bit forward and that's it we lost three percent they lost 80 another great victory wonderful we destroyed their armies and uh, we lost very few troops another object gained last time I went for manpower now I have manpower so we'll go for cash even though it was only uh, a thousand cash right with that we want to speed through here can I loot this one now can I please go ahead and loot the depot oh you can't why can't I loot the cash this was an army enemy army cash why can't I loot it and then, if we move further, we'll be coming into contact with that um, that force, whatever that is. I feel like the, I'm going to bring the agitators really far forward. I have plenty of army groups left here to surround this area. So the agitators will move really far. Okay, now I see what they've got there, and I also see out to the plane here. However, we've outstripped su supply, should be fine. Supply should be fine, right? Look at this. There, supply is blocked off here, I guess. For some reason. Um, it's also a little bit strange when I kind of when um, the way you build the supply or whatever like me building a supply depot here isn't gonna mean much if I can't actually get the supply to go through oh I guess it's that the, the range is cut off here and we get some range from the town I don't know we're gonna build a depot did that help no Um, can I remove the depot? Dismantle. There's no point in having you there. Okay, so we uh, need a depot somewhere around there to support his advance so that he doesn't lose. What is going on? I might have to save and load that because currently you can see it kind of constantly flashing there. I'm going to have the 6th army group just move over. And then the 6th army group is now sitting right where we need a depot. Right, now we fixed it. Oh, and the 6th army group can do that and then come back to sieging this force. And then... The rest of these forces will be marching to surround... Um, oh, you know what? I can't surround from this side because that's the river side. But I need, I need one more army group to set up to surround this force right here. Who is in need of uh, digging defenses? How far can you join? You can... You can continue from oh but that, that is if you move through here I want to see how far up in uh, the north of Japan I can get so currently we are uh, sieging the shogunate capital and we're uh, also about to come around and set up completely around this force right here a pitiful force, however they do have a Gatling gun. I am not sure what they've got here. But I'm not going to move in there just yet. We can wait one turn till we get the British troops. And that I can get some more money. So that I can go ahead and uh, get some extra weapons for the groups. And I'll kind of get go over all the all the groups here 
Maybe, you know what, we've done two battles in this. Maybe I'll end it right here and then we'll have... In the ne next one looks like that could very well be the last one because at this point we're running through so quickly through the points here. I mean, these two army groups, I'm sure they'll... If uncontested, I'm sure we could push almost all the way up here and start, um, you know, setting up around there. So, yeah. And now I've said so too many times. But with that, we're going to end today's episode right there. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.